Hi everybody, this video is on the generator. Watch this video after you watch the one on Faraday's law, which is the one just before this. Okay, so um, we're looking at what an electric generator essentially is a coil that is spinning in a magnetic field. Okay, it's a coil of wire and the coil can occupy, I'm trying to get something that's flat. Okay, here we go. Right, so it's a coil of wire that's spinning in a magnetic field. And when I say magnetic field, you have the north pole of the magnet at one end, and then you have the south pole at the other, and then in and then you have a uniform magnetic field in between the poles of the magnet, and you have this coil that is spinning in the magnetic field. So what happens when it's spinning is that the area of the coil is actually changing in relation to the lines of flux. Now the lines of flux, if the two um, poles of the magnet are vertical like this, okay, you've got a north pole at one end, the south pole at the other, your lines of flux are going to be horizontal lines, okay? When the coil, this is called the plane of the coil, when the plane of the coil is horizontal, then it's actually running parallel to the lines of flux. Okay, so we say that the line, none of the lines of flux are actually cutting it. However, when the plane of the coil is in the vertical position, the lines of flux are all cutting it at the maximum rate. Now we're going to see why is it that the maximum voltage induced is when it's in this position and zero voltage induced is when it's in this position. So let's just go through this example. So I've drawn two diagrams on the board to just bring you um, to make this, uh, it's not perfect, but those are your two poles of the magnet and this is the coil when it's in the horizontal position, so it's parallel to the lines of flux. And this is when the coil is in the vertical position. So for a complete cycle, it goes from here, horizontal, to vertical, horizontal, flip the other way, to vertical and back. So that's one cycle, okay? Right, I've just put some numbers here because it, I thought it might make sense for us to see how we solve this using Faraday's law. So let's say it takes, it does 10 oscillations or 10 complete rotations in one second. So we say frequency is 10 hertz. And let's say, assume the area of this coil is 0 0.050 meters squared and the magnetic field strength or flux density is 0 0.30 tesla. Right, so when it's in this position one, what's the total flux linking the coil? The answer is actually zero. It's zero because they're parallel, right? When it's in position two, when it's like this, the lines of flux are actually cutting it perpendicular, okay? So what is the flux linking the coil? Your flux is B times A. Your B is 0 0.30, your area is 0 0.050, you multiply the two and you get 0 0.015 Weber, okay? That's flux. So what's the change in flux when it goes from position one to position two? Okay, so it's the difference between these two. So the change in flux is equal to 0 0.015 Weber. Now, if the frequency is 10 hertz, your period is 1 over the frequency. So 1 over 10 is 0 0.10 seconds. That is the period it takes to do a whole circle. So if it's going to do quarter turn, it's just going to do quarter of this. So quarter turn is just that divided by 4, you get 0 0.025 seconds. That's as much as it takes to go from the horizontal to the vertical position. So the induced voltage in this time, when it goes from the horizontal to the vertical, is the rate of change of flux. So your flux is 0 0.015, your time is so much. So you go 0 0.015 divided by 0 0.025, and I think you might get something like 0 0.060 volts. Okay. And then, so this 
is the voltage induced for one turn of the coil. You never find any generators with one turn of the coil. You find them with hundreds and hundreds of turns. Okay, so let's say it's got 200 turns. So for 200 turns, so I've got 20, for 200 turns, the voltage induced is 200 times this. So the, your induced voltage is 200 times 0 0.06, and then you get 120 volts. Okay, so that's how you solve these problems on the generator. But just to tell you, so why is maximum voltage induced when the plane of the coil is parallel to the lines of flux? It all has to do with how the sides of the coil are moving. The sides of the coil are actually moving at right angles to the lines. And so they're cutting it at maximum rate. Okay, it's to do with how they're cutting. However, when it is in this position and the maximum lines of flux are linking the coil, but it's cutting, the movement of this is parallel to the lines of flux. So that is why there's no voltage induced in the vertical position, but maximum voltage is induced in the horizontal position. But kind of when you flip it, the, that's how you get an alternating voltage. You get the positive and negative because it's in the opposite direction okay so induced voltage causes a current in the opposite direction when it's like this so if you're going to draw a graph of voltage against time for a complete cycle the sort of graph that you're going to get is going to be a sine curve so if you're starting with this position when it's vertical zero voltage induced maximum in the horizontal position and then it's going to be this. So this is voltage, this is time in seconds, voltage in volts, that's zero, there's some maximum value. This is, let's say if it was for 200, let's say 120 volts, let's say for 200 turns, and this will be negative 120. And this is your period for the example that I had given is 0 0.10 seconds, that's as much as it takes. And this is your 0 0.025. So we just did for quarter cycle. So I hope that makes sense. And I will make another video on showing you how to solve problems on electromagnetic induction in a coiled conductor. And that's what you need to do once you've understood about the generator. Okay, bye for now.